put a filter over it. <laughs> Melissa Bernard. Oh, I'm going to get it wrong. <laughs> and we are back between theaters at. Oh, <laughs> You're making me feel better about this whole project. And we are back between theaters. No! Is that how you do it? <laughs> and we are back between theaters Friday night at the Q Bar. And we're here with Ma Marissa Benoit. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Nice but to it can you. be done either way. It can be done either Benoit. way. Benoit. Yes, Benoit. Clunt. Depending where you are in the world. Blunt. Sorry, not coint. Blunt. <laughs> <sighs> we interviewed a guy called James Benoit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jamie Benoit. And mm -hmm. um, it does. The whole thing makes you say it in some strange way. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah, welcome to my life. I struggle every day. So welcome to Between Two Thank you so much. My name's much. Lee. Nice to meet you. In this show, we like to get to know people that we've never met before. Okay. So we've only just met you. Right. And we have no idea what you do or where you come from or... So who are you? Okay. So my name is Marissa Benoit, or Benoit, depending on where you're from. <laughs> and um, I work for a company called Fleet Miami, which is responsible for eight right. yachts um, and they are available for retail charter or also as a membership club. So Usher is one of them? Usher is one of them, yes. You've got eight? Yes. Okay. So go on then, quickly reel off all Okay, we have Harl, Usher, Andiamo, uh, Mystique, Shredder, Splinter, um, The Scout. How many? Oh, I have to have one more. Um, I don't know what the other one would be, actually. Maybe right, seven. all right. So you've got eight <laughs> boats that yes. kind of yes. serve a variety of Oh, and Firefly. Of Sorry, Firefly, which is based in D.C. So the idea behind it is that we're based kind of around the world in strategic locations. Uh, Haro okay. goes back and forth between the Caribbean and Mediterranean. Usher stays in kind of South Florida, Bahamas. And uh, we have presence in uh, Firefly is in D.C. And we send Andiamo to the Hamptons in the summer and it's in Miami in the winter. Hey, can yeah. I photo bomb? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is how I know Usher because we interviewed ah, Norma on okay. Usher. Yeah, Usher. but we've known each other for much, much longer oh, than that. Almost yeah. how long ago we figured out over twenty years in so, Palma? Yeah. Twenty years. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Indeed. Oh my gosh. Great. Well, anyway, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just wanted to say happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's always wonderful to come to a party at Quantum Marine, isn't it? It's true. It, it is. is. Excellent. Yeah. I'll leave fact, you guys to right. She's oh. leading the question now. Do any of your boats have quantum stabilizers? Oh, I'll leave you guys oh to it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I believe two of our yachts do, although please don't quote me on that. I know okay. Usher does for sure, and then it's probable yeah. that Hurl does as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah I mean... We know quantum stabilizers, but other right. than that, right. we're, we're on a learning curve here. Yes, so. aren't we all? So, all right, so Fleet from Miami is, it's a very, um, what's the word? Um, notori not it's got a lot of notori notoriety about Maybe. it. Maybe, yeah, it's possible. It could be it's doing something a little bit different with its membership club, and that it's kind of a third space in yachting. Membership club? Yes. Right, okay. Yes, there is, it's a third, again, third space in yachting, kind of an innovative idea that our owner had, um, which is... And the owner's quite eccentric, right? He's, yes, yeah. Is, he's, that, is that a nice way of putting he's it? He's very, I would call him brilliant, I think. Brilliant, okay. Yes. <laughs> um, yes, he has a lot of very innovative ideas, and he kind of brought some of that innovation to the yachting industry in terms of how he designed Sleep Miami. So he's not in the, he wasn't, he's not from the boating world, is he? Um, no, he's had, I think it's, we call it kind of his flagship yacht is Farrell, which is the 147 bed ship. I actually started working on it eight years ago, which is how I joined the industry. Oh, wow. Um, so you were crew? I, yeah, I was. I was a stewardess uh, full-time for a year, and then I went back to school and got my PhD in England, actually. Um, PhD? Yeah. In what? The history of medicine. Holy moly. Yeah, oh, right. it's very, so I actually have a very unusual background for this, but essentially in between my master's and PhD, joined the yachting community and industry <laughs> part-time or okay. short-term, I guess, full-time, but short-term, short, short -term, and um, saw a world that I had never been exposed to before and continued on and, and went back and did my PhD um, over in England, finished in 2015. Whereabouts in England? In Oxford. You. Sorry, excuse the language. <laughs> you, you are really 
switched on then? Um, I don't know about that, but I definitely love Oxford and uh, had a very happy... Everybody who went to Oxford switched on. Anybody who's done a... and got the PhD... Yeah, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. So was that I, three years? Uh, so I did it in four, and then I taught for about a half a year. Okay, so... <laughs> Why? Oh my God! So There's you, a lot of questions. I know that's yeah, kind of a curveball to throw. Well, what's the typical question that people ask? Why? <laughs> Why? What? Why history of medicine? Why? Why did you come back to yachting? Yeah. Why did you come back to yachting? I say the yachting industry is something. It's very once you see it, it's very difficult to unsee. And there's a lot of opportunity here. I loved the people I met, um, my crew um, on Harl, and also owner um, Michael was amazing. My boss Glenn who was my onboard captain and has since become my boss in Fleet Miami. Very supportive of my education and very um, interested in what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it. And uh, yeah, they were my kind of support team when I was doing the PhD, so. Where are you from? Uh, Maine. Okay. In New England, yeah. Blimey. I know, very different. Okay, so quickly, how, how did you get from Maine yeah. to M Miami to to Oxford, where so where are you? Where are you? I'm from a tiny town called Brooksville, which only has about 900 people, and I'm on the coast of Maine. <gasps> yeah? No, really? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, are sorry, you still brothers? To... Yes. You are? Oh, okay. I never would have guessed that. <laughs> <laughs> Pemmican, wow, okay. Yeah, so I grew up in a tiny town in Maine. My father was a commercial captain. Um, I grew up sailing. I sailed competitively all through college, actually, um, and um, escaped Maine uh, for college and then worked as a consultant. I was a healthcare consultant for two years, knew I loved the history of medicine, and I spent my junior year studying at Oxford um, from my, you, I, I have a BA in history from Yale University in the, in the States. So you went to then Yale, went, then Oxford? Yeah. And I'm in yachting. You could possibly be the most qualified person, not in <laughs> anything to do with yachting, but in yachting. Thanks. <laughs> so what, what excites you about the job at Fleet? So I love problem solving, and also I just love the industry. Problem solving? Yeah, problem solving. What in problems terms of... do you have chartering boats? Come on. Well, every charter science. is something to be figured out, right? And also I like working in a small company and there's a lot of... Calendar dates, <laughs> logistics of where a boat... Exactly. How the hell does that keep you... <laughs> interested? Interested. Um, no, I would say I'm really interested, yeah, in general. And you know what it is? I love boats. I absolutely love thinking. It's the passion of the yeah, industry. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I love boats. I love thinking about them. I love working with people who are also passionate about it. Um, it's in my blood. I grew up on the coast of Maine. My dad was a captain. Like, there's a, there's a bit of it yeah. I can't actually explain, but I I think that's I actually it. what it is. A lot of people can't explain why they love it, but they I just do. do. And once I saw, again, I'm in between. I, I graduated with a master's in 2000, closed in 2008. Um, intended to take one year out, uh, it turned into two years because I jumped on a boat and loved it so much that um, it kind Word. of extended and then went back, but always kind of kept a hand in it. So, so if people want to charter one of your eight, yes. how do they get in touch with you? So you can reach me at M Benoit. B you better give your email address. O I T. Yeah. It's very dangerous. All right. <laughs> M, 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 M Benoit. Uh, FleetMiami.com, or you can also call me. Phone number. Uh, 954 or plus one nine five four two three five zero three five two, or you can go to fleetmiami.com. Well, I mean, so are you going to be adding more boats, or are you going to be? Yeah, we're always looking for people who are interested in contributing to the fleet. Oh, so the, all the boats aren't Michaels; they are. So seven of the eight are, okay, and then okay. we and then we have one who we call a owner member, who is a kind of contributes his yacht to the fleet. And he is the owner of an 87 foot warren. Blimey. Do you have a statistic like you're 70% of the year or 70% of the season chartered? Or mm, I don't you... actually have a statistic off the top of my is head. That how, how do charter brokers measure their success? Is that kind of. Good question. Um, I'm not really sure. I guess I think technically the, the figure is weeks per year. Okay. I've heard this figure that it would be like 20 weeks per year would be a successful charter program. So 20 weeks. <laughs> oh dear. So I think so, yeah. I think that's the right, uh, yeah, 
20 weeks per year is a so. great number. Please, yeah, you edit this out if I'm wrong. Do you get the 20 weeks per year? Uh, I would say between all of our votes, mm, I, I don't know. I don't know. My background's in history, not math, so. <laughs> Very good. Okay, all right. Fair <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Lovely to meet you as well. <laughs> and, uh,